Real Madrid are the ones who've been making the headlines recently with their signing of Mbappe to complete their legendary squad that's filled with star-studded names. As a result of this, the other Spanish giant is seemingly going under the radar. The Messi era is the most successful era in the history of FC Barcelona. However, all good things come to an end. And in August 2021, it happened as Lionel Messi left Barcelona as a result of severe economic problems. Since then, the Catalan team has suffered to maintain the standard that the Messi era set. But with Barcelona's performance so far in the 24-25 season under new manager Hansi Flick, it seems like a new era that can compete with the standard of the old times and, more importantly, the new Real Madrid is here. In the history of football, there are not many better eras from one player for one club than the Lionel Messi era at Barcelona. During his 17 years as a Barcelona player, the club won more than half of the club's trophies that they won before him. Messi's time at Barcelona was beyond outstanding, and this has made some to loosely say that without him, Barcelona is nothing. I don't know about you, but Barcelona became known thanks to Messi, said his brother. Nobody knew about them before. Whoever's had the chance to go to Barcelona and see the museum, you can see that the museum is messy. So Lionel Messi played a total of 778 matches for Barcelona, spanning across 17 full seasons, and scored 672 goals. The Argentine, who's the most decorated player in football history, won 35 trophies with Barcelona. He won 10 La Ligas, 7 Copa del Reyes, 8 Spanish Super Cups, 4 Champions Leagues, 3 European Super Cups and 3 World Club Championships. The Lionel Messi era at Barcelona was not only a result of magical Messi. Barca had a truckload of exceptional players. Apart from Messi, perhaps the most exceptional player of this era was Andres Iniesta, the man who has recently announced his retirement from professional football. There is also the exceptional Xavi, one of the best players in football history, and other world-class players like Busquets, Puyol, Pique, Pedro, David Villa, Neymar, Suarez, Dani Alves, Jordi Alba, and many, many more. World-class managers like Pep Guardiola, Luis Enrique, Valverde, and Tito Villanova were also in charge of Barcelona during this era. So without a doubt, Barcelona were an unbeatable team, a team that conquered the world. However, since Messi left Spain, although Barcelona has won two trophies, the respect given to the team in the football world has reduced. Many managers have been appointed, many playing styles have been tried and tested, and many transfers have been made, but the Barcelona fans are still locked in the euphoria of the successes of the previous era. Many even express the view that the protagonist of the era, Lionel Messi, although now considerably older, should be brought back to the team. And it's not just that the new Barcelona is that bad. The world, most especially Barcelona fans, just expect the new Barcelona to be like the old ones. As Kerman, Barcelona legend and former manager, said, Barcelona lives in the past. Barca lives in the past, from 4-3-3, from tiki-taka. But football has changed. Now it's faster, more physical. You can't live in the past, he said. Now, Ronald Koeman was sacked when he failed to deliver. Like in the past, Xavi's era as Barcelona's manager also ended for similar reasons. With Hansi Flick, the old, brutal Barcelona is back. The team that everyone's scared of playing against. Now, although Tiki Taka isn't back, a playing style that is quite similar to it, Flicky Flacker, named after manager Hansi Flick, has stolen the hearts of Barca fans. After a series of back and forths between Barcelona and Xavi, it was announced in May 2024 that the club legend will not be continuing as manager of the club. Xavi's turbulent 2024 at Barca started in January when Xavi announced he would walk away from Barcelona, describing the role as cruel and unpleasant. After a series of pleas by the board of the team, in April, Barcelona announced that Xavi had reversed his decision and would take the team into next season. Then, exactly a month later, in May 2024, Barcelona announced that Xavi had been sacked. 
It was rumoured that the sacking was a result of disagreements with club president Joan Laporta. Now, on the 29th of May this year, Barca announced Hansi Flick, the former German national team manager and Bayern Munich manager, as the new coach of the club. In August 2006, Flick became assistant coach to Joachim Löw at the German national team following the resignation of Jürgen Klinsmann. After six years with Löw, where he won six trophies, Flick stepped down as assistant coach to the Mannschaft and took a job as sporting director at the German Football Federation, DFB. In 2017, Flick returned to Hoffenheim as sporting director. And then in the summer of 2019, Flick arrived at Bayern Munich as an assistant to Niko Kovac. After a few months, Kovac was sacked and Flick was made caretaker first team coach. And he was later made the head coach till the end of the season. After wonderful managerial displays during that season where Bayern won 22 out of his first 25 games and a historic treble, which included a painful 8-2 defeat for Barca in the Champions League against Bayern, Flick cemented his position as Bayern manager. Flick later won the sextuple that year, making Bayern the second team to win six trophies in a year. Barcelona earlier did it in 2009 under Pep Guardiola. Now, after the 21-22 season, where Bayern retained the Bundesliga, Flick announced that he was leaving the team to become the German national team manager. However, his time as German national team manager was woeful. It started with failure to qualify out of the group stage in the World Cup. And then after more negative results, he was sacked in September 2023 by Germany, becoming the first Germany manager to be sacked in history. In May 2024, Barcelona finally appointed Hansi Flick as manager. By bringing Hansi Flick on as coach, Barca chose a man with a proven record. In previous years, the club have gone for rather unproven managers, Valverde, Tito Villanova, Kerman, Xavi, many more. Flick is well known for his team's high pressing, intense and daring style of play. High pressing is the most exceptional part of his play. It led to the 8-2 defeat of Barcelona in the Champions League. By signing Flick, Barcelona decided to ditch their tiki-taka and patient style of play and go for a quick and direct style that emphasises getting the ball in the final third and not holding on to possession. However, this doesn't mean Flick does not keep possession. In fact, his playing style is similar to tiki-taka. Here the tradition is to play with passing, but I also want them to go straight to the goal. They should focus a bit more on scoring, Flick told Barca 1 after his appointment. I don't think my style has any major changes from Tiki Taka. I'm looking for the same thing, to press high up and to play in the opponent's midfield. So, so far in the 24-25 season, Flick has enjoyed the early days of success at Barcelona. In nine matches in La Liga, Barca have won eight, losing just one. The loss came against Osasuna when Flick decided to rest his major players. Flick lost his first Champions League match as Barcelona manager against Monaco as a result of a passing error by Mark Ter Stegen, which led to Eric Garcia's red card. But he won his second match against Young Boys 5-0. Without a doubt, Barcelona are a very informed team in Europe. In the league, Barca have scored the most goals, 28, while only conceding nine. The team's highest win was the historical 7-0 against Real Valladolid. Currently, Barcelona is sitting comfortably at the top of the table. So do you think they can win the league at the end of the season? Let us know in the comments section. One doesn't need to look too far before seeing the impact of Flick on Barcelona this season. Flick's high-line plays have worked perfectly at Barcelona. They just can't stop scoring. So far, Barca have caught their opponents offside 62 times this season. This is double the amount than the second team in Europe to have caught their opponents offside, which is Brighton with 31. Flick's time at Barcelona has been a great one, not only because of his great managerial displays, but also because of the exceptional players he has at his disposal. Lewandowski, Lamine Yamal, Rafinha, Koundé, Balde, Pau Kubasi, Inigo Martinez and Pedri, they've all been in beautiful form this season. Now, Lewandowski is arguably Barca's best player so far. The Polish legend has scored 10 goals and provided two assists in under 10 games so far this season. 
Rafinha has also scored six with five assists, while youngster Lamine Yamal has scored four and made five assists. However, what stands out is not the form that these players have been in, but the way Flick has been able to bring out the best in them. Yamal has continued his superstar reputation from after last season and winning the Euros with Spain with nine goal contributions in his first nine games. These are great numbers and don't forget, he's only 17. But Barca have good squad depth too, clearly, with Tostegan suffering what has been reported as a complete rupture in his patella tendon in his right knee. Iñaki Peña is another example of the wonders of La Masia, Barcelona's academy, after joining them in 2012 when he was 13 from Villarreal. He is stepping up to the bill at the moment with the club's number one out injured, producing some very solid performances. Now, the scary thing about this team is not what they've done, but what they're capable of doing. To think Barcelona are currently one of the best teams in Europe, while a good number of their top players are injured that's simply worrying. And what will this team do when they are complete? Ronald Arayo, Gavi, new signing Danny Olmo, Fermin Lopez, Christensen and Ter Stegen, they're all out injured. With Ansu Fati and De Jong just getting back into the team after their injury, it's expected that the majority of these players will be back before the end of October. Definitely, Flick will be unstoppable when he has his full squad. A major test for Hansi Flick's Barca is their upcoming match against Real Madrid on the 26th of October. Going into the 24-25 season, Madrid were dubbed to be the most complete team in Europe. Many believed La Liga would be a walkover for them. And this was largely because of the signing of Kylian Mbappe, one of the best players in the world. However, the season has shown otherwise, as Madrid have played well below expectation, especially since they're currently below top of the league Barcelona. Regardless, the game against Barca, the El Clasico, is a very important one in the two teams' race to win the league, and both teams will give it their all. With the way Barcelona is playing, they might just win the Clasico and shock a lot of people. Tarhansi Flicks Barcelona are currently enjoying a great start, but can they go all the way? See you in the next video.